when the Vela Dam project's foundation was being laid, high slogans were raised that after the completion of the project, there would be revolution in the lives of the people of Pakistan in general and the effectives in particular. People of the area left their homes, their property, even the graves of their forefathers. Their sacrifices remain fruitless because of wrong policy of the leadership and bureaucracy. Union Council Kalinger, Levelwang and Bill are situated in the northeast from capital Islamabad of four hours drive beside the Tribula Reservoir and consist of about 65,000 persons. This constituency belongs to PF 52 and NA 19. Peer Sabarsha is MPA and Sardar Mushtaq is MNA. Both is belonging from Muslim League N. The area in respect of agriculture and farming is not rich. <coughs> farming depends upon rains. If there is proper rain, there is production. Otherwise, famine occurs. People migrate to other far cities of Pakistan to earn their livings. They have only opportunity to create fire in the ovens or to sweep houses because they do not have good education or technical skill. There is no doubt the Vera Dam project has played an important role in the development of Pakistan, but unfortunately the residents of Union Council Kalinger, Lagalbang and B remain deprived and they could not get their rights even they are not recognized as real and actual effective of the project by concerned authorities. They are regarded as ineffective. Before the construction of this project, Kalinger had 15 km distance from Tehsil headquarter Haripur and fare was paid 1.25 rupees per by bath per person. This old road became under the water of Tarbola Lake and people have no access to Tehsil headquarter, district headquarter or any city of the country. After 18 years an alternate road was constructed and distance increased to 60 to 80 kilometers and fare is paid rupees 100 by per person. This alternate road bears 424 curves from Kalinga to Haripur city and very difficult and torturing one. Many patients including pregnant women and aged people lost their lives during the journey. Political leaders from the area Mr. Gora Khan ruled as Foreign Minister and Speaker of National Assembly. Mr. Umar Yub Khan remained Finance Minister of Pakistan. Raja Skandar Zaman, Minister of, of Water and Power. P. Sarasha remained Chief Minister and Advisor to Prime Minister. But these people too did not pay their attention to resolve the difficulties of the people of the area. Unluckily, the leaders did not mention or highlight the problems of the area at Forum of Prevention Assembly or National Assembly. How much it is said that there is no one high school for girls at Union Council level in 21st century while the girls of their of other part of country are getting education along with boys to the highest level but our daughters are remain deprived even of metric level education. The position for the boys of this area is also discouraging. After matriculation the boys of the area even intelligent ones remain deprived of higher education and thus 
their future becomes dark the medical facilities are also not mentionable if there is case of delivery or any other emergency the patient passes away before he makes approach to the doctor or hospital the government has allocated 5% variety of hydel powers annual profit to district kharipur after 35 years completion of the project which is more than 30 million rupees but it is very sadfulness to say that this huge amount is distributed among political leaders who are spending it to strengthen their groups instead of development or rehabilitation of basic need of community if this be ever continue then there is danger of dispersion hatred group formation and enmity the area will fall down in the depth of backwardness the residents of union council kalinger lavalang and bir are right to demand to provision of a chance of leading respectable life being the citizen of pakistan if royalty of the project is spent on the welfare or development of this area betterment in every field of the life will appear high school and vocational center should be constructed for girls in each union council technical and degree college be opened for boys in the area medical facility be provided at union council level quota in employment should be ensured for this union council for next 15 years the most important a bridge be constructed at satpur jam so that journey to haripur be reduced and fare are so low moreover electricity bills please be paid from royalty so that people could get relief